What's going on guys, Get you into the row here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and as we all know, Rockstar recently announced that they are adding a railgun to Grand Theft Auto 5 next gen, or current gen, whichever you want to call it, on PS4 and Xbox One, and also PC. So the railgun was really intriguing to me. You know, it's neat to see Rockstar adding something besides just regular weapons. They're adding something unique like a railgun, and uh, personally, I think that's going to make an awesome addition to GTA 5. However, after looking at the picture of the railgun, it kind of hit me. What exactly is a railgun? Is it even a real weapon? How does it work? What is it that allows it to fire a projectile? What's actually happening there? And so then that gave me the idea to actually do a little bit of research and uh, inform you guys as well and do kind of an in-depth analysis just of what a railgun is, how it works, and just a general overview because it's actually really interesting and I think as long as this gun is in the game and we're going to be using it, we're going to be talking about it, we should at least have an understanding exactly of what it is. So that's what I'm going to be explaining in this video. So lastly, before we get into it, please guys rate the video. Scroll down and either hit that like button or the dislike button. I don't care which, just let your opinion be heard. If we have 10,000 views on this video, I want to see 10,000 ratings. So without any further ado, why don't we get into it? So what you're looking at on screen right now is the picture, the uh, the screenshot that Rockstar released to us with Michael holding the railgun that is going to be in GTA 5. And at first glance, this thing's awesome. I really enjoy the color scheme and everything of it, but that's not really what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk more about the science and the physics and the theory that actually makes this gun work. So right off the bat, you can see the two rails that give this gun its name, the railgun. It has a top rail and a bottom rail, as you can see, and they're separated by the red in between there. But what exactly do these rails do? Well, let's switch it over to a diagram. So to break this down as simply as possible, each of these two rails are electromagnetically charged. One side has a positive charge, and the other side has a negative charge. But of course, to receive this electromagnetic charge, there must be a power source from somewhere. So unlike most other guns that use gunpowder, the railgun uses a huge electric power supply. So then, looking between the two rails, an armature holding a projectile is used to complete the electric current. And you can see that illustrated by the colored arrow. The current comes in, it is connected through the armature, and then it is able to go and flow freely through the system. So then, basically, to simplify this a little bit, once the rails are energized, the projectile is ready to be fired off. So between the current running through the rails and also the armature, this creates what is called a Lorentz force, named after Dutch physicist Hendrik Lorentz. Now the Lorentz force is basically just a combination of electric and magnetic forces on an object due to electromagnetic fields. So this is the exact force that acts on the projectile, and it accelerates it to just ridiculous, ridiculous velocities. I mean, we're saying this projectile will go from 0 to 13,000 miles per hour in 0.2 seconds. Just in case that didn't blow your mind, let me repeat that. 0 to 13,000 miles per hour in 0.2 seconds. That is just mind-blowing. That is that is ridiculous. It takes an incredible amount of energy to even do that. So, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that this gun is not to be messed with. I mean, this thing means business. I mean, just in case you're not convinced yet, I should add that the railgun, uh, like a full-size one, we're not talking like a handheld one, but one that's actually mounted, can shoot a distance of up to 100 miles. Think about how far 100 miles is. That's just, it's scary. It is just downright scary. Now, obviously, there are different sizes of railguns. There are some huge mega artillery railguns that would only be mounted on a ship or something like that. But then the idea is that you can take the same technology and squeeze it into a much tighter, smaller package and make basically a handheld railgun. Now, I should mention for real world applications, usually you're going to see the giant railguns that are, you know, mounted on either on the ground or on a ship or something like that. Um, there aren't really many practical purposes at this point for a handheld railgun. And I think we're, you know, we're still pretty far away until we actually see uh, handheld railguns being used in any sort of warfare or anything like that. But that's exactly why Rockstar called it an experimental weapon. In fact, to quote them, they called it an experimental military technology. So, you know, obviously it's not very advanced as far as real world application goes to be condensed into handheld size, but it doesn't matter. This is Grand Theft Auto V and Rockstar can add whatever weapon they want. And personally, I think this is an awesome addition. And I'm actually glad that now I have an understanding of exactly what the gun is rather than using it blindly and talking about it and really having no idea how it works, now uh, myself and all of you guys hopefully understand what it is. So uh, with that, guys, please, like I said, rate the video. If you enjoyed it, show that like button some love. If you didn't, then hey, show that dislike button some love as well. But tell me why you did in the comments section. And with that, guys, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. I will see you next time.